Uh, well, I'm good friends with David Williams, mm -hmm. and he had been trying to get me to play this game for a long time. And I finally relented, you know, a couple months ago. And since then, I really just love playing the game, and I thought it was a good opportunity. You know, I live in Las Vegas, so it's sure. not that far from here. Sure. Um, now, how long? So you've only been playing for a couple months, yes? Yeah, I started um, just around Christmas time. With um, Dave and Eric Froelich, is that right? Yeah, uh, David, Eric, Eric Froelich, Justin Bonomo, um, just all the magic players that also play poker. Rock Parker. I'm friends with all of them. Yeah, yeah sure, Rock sure. Um, so actually, most of them live in my building, so there's always a draft <laughs> going on in my building. Now, you, you actually. It's not just because you're playing with friends who like to play the game, but you've actually found enjoyment for the game yourself, is that right? Yeah, I really like it. I mean, it's it's really daunting not knowing anything about the game and having to learn all these different you know, abilities and things like that. But I, that's what I love about it as well. It's really challenging. And uh, I guess, you know, poker, having played for so long, maybe has lost a little bit of that, that aspect for me. But it's, I mean, it's definitely challenging as well. But Right, right. Um, now... The big, the big question we always ask people who do the poker, the magic thing, like Dave and Eric, uh, is which game they prefer. Um, and the default answer is usually, I like magic for fun, and I like poker for money. Um, is that kind of how you feel about it, or are there, there are other elements to that as well for you? Well, I think uh, both games are definitely very challenging and have a lot of different strategies involved. Uh, poker, to me, is like the ultimate mind game because, you know, you really have to get into your opponent's head. There's not only the mathematical aspect of the game, but it's also like the psychological game. Um, which I guess Magic also has that as, as well. Um, so I guess both games have their own unique appeal. Sure. Uh, now, what? this is your first pro tour that you've attended, right? Have yes. you been to any Grand Prix or large events before this? No, my only sanctioned tournament before this was the pre-release at Pro World Week at a small game shop in Las Vegas. So you have been playing... You, competitively and in, in that you're registered with the DCI, you have the DCI card. Yeah, I have a positive rating. <laughs> I, actually, before here, I had 1608 from the pre-release. So. <laughs> now, how many, what, what has your impression of the Pro Tour atmosphere been? Uh, my impression is very masculine. <laughs> Meaning there's, it's mostly, it's a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys, but it's very young as well, so it's kind of cool. Um, but everyone's been super friendly, you know, it's, it's been a real enjoyment coming out here. So do you feel there were a lot of people that recognized you um, for your poker career as well? Yeah, I've gotten a lot of people coming up to me and ask me, you know, what am I doing here? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Things like that. Sure. Um, did you, you said earlier that you're staying in line to join some tournaments. Um, did, you, did you play a lot of events this weekend? Yeah, I played um, a sealed event um, and I played a couple little ones. How did they go? Not that great. <laughs> yeah, I probably have a negative rating now, but, sure. <laughs> but I think I learned a lot. Sure. That's well, that's, that's valuable. How do you feel when, when you're playing with Dave and Eric and Brock and a lot of these guys who are very successful Magic players, um, are you able to keep up with them or are you still in the process where you're kind of learning how to, how to play and get no, beat a lot? No, I'm definitely not keeping up. They're, they're helping me and it's good that I, anytime I have a question, I have like you know, a dozen or two people that I can ask know the answer to. Sure. Uh, do you feel after being here at the Pro Tour that playing at the Pro Tour level is something that you'd want to do someday or be involved with if, if it's available? Yeah, I mean, I think I had a lot of fun here and I would love to keep playing Magic and playing on a competitive level, I guess, one day. Uh, right now, I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. <laughs> sure. I'm still asking for takebacks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you feel like you're getting the takebacks when you ask for them because you're kind of kind of a celebrity and kind of a, a female that people aren't really interacting with a lot? Well, I think as soon as I tell people that I'm a new, they're pretty understanding usually. I played a couple guys who were a little bit serious, but I don't fault them for that, you know? <laughs> You know, I'm not quite ready, so it's not their fault. Sure, sure. That's I fair. That. Um, do you approach the, the game of Magic kind of similar to how you approach Magic, or are your approaches to those very different? Uh, to other games, you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I generally dive headfirst into any game and become completely obsessed until I master it, so I'm sure that's going to be the case with Magic as well. <laughs> do you find that when you reach that level where you feel like you've kind of mastered it, you, your interest in it kind of wanes, or is it something that you stick with even though you feel you've topped it? No, I mean, I really I really love all kinds of games, like video games, uh, billiards, uh, any kind of games of skill, I pretty much love. And there's games that I've played since I was a little kid. Like, I've played Tetris for, like, you know, half my life. <laughs> and I still like to play Tetris. Sure. Um, now, the poker tournaments... Um 
from time to time you see Dave or some of the big Magic players getting um, getting some heat from the other players at the table, teasing them about their background in Magic. Is that something you've kind of experienced at all, or is it still a little bit new for that to happen? Well, I was the one teasing them most of the time. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's all in good fun, and definitely I really love the game, so I, I don't mind taking a little ribbing myself. Sure. Now, do you feel that your mindset um, as sort of a, a game player is what attracted you to Magic, or do you feel like there's something inherent within poker players that more of them would perhaps be drawn to the game if given a chance to play? Well, I mean, the game does have a lot of similarities. They're both card games. There's that little bit psychological aspect as well. And, uh, yeah, there's just so many different strategies involved that I just think it's really appealing to me. Cool. Um, any final reflections on the weekend for the uh, the community watching at home? Uh, just I can't wait to beat you guys. <laughs> you guys might be might have gotten me this weekend, but I'll get you. <laughs>